I'm an internal medicine physician. I uh, trained in New York City and worked at hospital for special surgery prior to coming out here with a focus um, in perioperative medicine. So I take care of patients before surgery, after surgery, and anything that comes up in between. Uh, so I actually did research with Dr. Philippon uh, from 2005 to 2008, um, focused on outcomes after hip arthroscopy. Um, and then I went off to med school and did my residency in internal medicine. And then it was sort of, um, I guess, serendipitous that everything just sort of lined up. And yeah, so prior to um, me joining the Stedman Clinic, the pre-op optimization of the patients, the management of their medications, um, and all the things that are focused on making sure that the patient has a good outcome after surgery, other than surgery, um, was done outside. So it was done by either their primary care physician or an urgent care center. And now we've brought everything in house, so we take care of everything. So the benefits are that you know the patient um, before surgery, you know everything about them, you know what medications they're on, you know what family history they have. And um, you really can provide a service to the patient to make sure that they're well taken care of both before and after surgery to ensure that they have the best possible outcome. So I think we, you know, we heard from basic scientists and biomechanists and orthopedic surgeons and statisticians and internal medicine. And I think one of the common themes was that it, it takes a team to really advance research and take care of patients. And, and that's really what this course is about. It's about bringing together everyone from all their different subspecialties, working together, brainstorming, and um, coming up with solutions to help take care of our patients. The collaboration of the Stedman Clinic and the Stedman Philippon Research Institute um, in conjunction with the United States Olympic Committee and providing care as a dedicated national medical center for the, for the USOC athletes um, allows us not only to take the best care of the athletes that are competing for our country, but also uh, lets us do research and access to all different um, departments within the USOC so that we can really um, advance medicine and, and do good evidence-based medicine research um, to provide the athletes with the best outcomes possible. When you, um, when you examine patients uh, for the first time that are scheduled for surgery, they have a lot of expectations um, about, you know, there's a lot of stress and anxiety associated with the, with the surgery and, and the relief of their pain. Um, and if there is a medical condition that um, puts them at risk to undergo surgery, um, we identify that before they have surgery and, and limit or minimize the, the poor outcomes. Um, and so sometimes it's a difficult conversation to have with patients telling them that they, you know, they can't have surgery at a small facility or at, at high altitude. Um, but ultimately it's with the focus on making sure that the patient um, does well. And you know, that's the first rule of medicine is do no harm. Um, so you know it's easy to it's easy to diagnose an ACL tear on an MRI, but it's it's more difficult to tell a patient that has coronary artery disease that they are, you know, it's not safe for them to undergo surgery at this time, and that there's ways we can optimize that. And it's not always what the patients want to hear, um, but it's certainly in the best interest of the patient. And and that's sort of some of the care that we provide here at the Stemming Clinic is that we it's comprehensive. Yeah, I think that's what I that's what I talked about in the talk today, and that's what I noticed on the trip. Um, to Chile that we spent a week with them, it's that there's a lot of common sense things that come up and, and you know, it's not just uh, doing the most advanced scientific research and not just doing biomechanics and identifying different stem cell markers or different types of ACL tears or different types of physical therapy and different types of surgery, but it's also just taking a step back and thinking about the patient um, and what's going to be the best thing for the patient, um, whether it's education, whether it's teaching them how to do certain you know, eat certain foods or sleep well or clean, wash, shower. Um, taking a step back and being able to look at the patient um, in, a, in, a, in a whole aspect to be able to really treat the patient not just individually and not just sort of subspecialized into their just knee joint or just their hip joint, but the whole patient. No, we're providing, we're providing comprehensive care at the Stedman Clinic that lets the patients not only do well from surgery, but do well in life and get back to everything that they want to do and ensure is an optimal outcome. I think everything we talked about at the conference this, this weekend um, as it pertains to injury prevention, whether it's biomechanics, whether it's biomechanics or whether it's stem cell research or whether it's PRP or whether it's new orthopedic surgical technology, um, you know, it's very, very focused on a specific area. 
and the concept of, of adding internal medicine into that whole sort of whole body um, medicine is what really lets the patients do well. Um, and I think it provides a sense of comfort to the patients also that they know that they're being taken care of, that they know that someone here knows everything about them, knows their family history, um, and lets them have the best outcome. A long time ago in, in undergrad, actually, I learned that um, the biggest bang for your buck is to keep the healthy people healthy. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of things to, to do preventative-wise, not just injury prevention, but, but also preventative health measures that we can do to educate patients to make sure that they stay healthy and that they're doing all the things they need to do to stay active and prevent injuries. There's a saying in a philosophy in oncology that says that every cancer patient should be in a clinical trial, otherwise medicine will never advance and it'll stay stagnant. And I think that applies to orthopedics and internal medicine and sports. Uh, and that's the beauty of the Stedman Clinic and the Stedman Philippon Research Institute is that we're really trying to push the envelope and advance medicine and orthopedics um, to do the best that we can do to try to prevent injuries.